supporters in North Carolina are fighting back hard against the growing number of charges of sexual assault by women across the country. Trump calling these women, in his words, horrible liars. But not every woman is claiming to have had the same effect from this experience from Trump. Out front now, Jennifer Murphy. She's a former Apprentice contestant, and she is supporting Donald Trump. So Jennifer, thank you very much for coming on. Um, first of all, I want to just get a chance to hear your story. How did you meet Donald Trump? Sure. Well, I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to share my support with Donald Trump, uh, for Donald Trump, for his run for president. Um, I met him at Miss USA when I was Miss Oregon. I was late to get on stage. I was backstage and I was running barefoot, carrying my shoes, and I ran right into him. And I said, oh, sorry, Mr. Trump. Uh, and he goes, well, who are you? I said, I'm Miss Oregon, but I'm late for a pageant. I got to run. And so he stood there laughing with a security guard. Uh, he thought it was pretty funny. And I met him after the pageant ended. I had made top 10, but I didn't win. And he came straight up to me on stage right when the pageant ended. And he said, Jennifer, I thought you did great. You would have been my pick, but I can't get involved with the, the judging. I own the pageant. And I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of okay with the fact that I didn't win. I'm a businesswoman and I love The Apprentice and I would love to get on the show. So he handed me his business card and um, I proceeded to have a very blonde moment, lost his card, and had to try out with everyone else through the regular rounds of competition. All right, so you then got on The Apprentice and you had an, an interview, and at one of these moments is when the kiss happened. Can you tell us exactly what happened? Well, a lot happened before that took place. I've known Donald Trump for a long time. Um, I made it through over 1.2 million candidates to get onto uh, the last 100 uh, finalists to potentially get on the show. I was down to about 25 finalists and Donald Trump stood up for me to Mark Burnett. Mark Burnett was going to eliminate me and he said, you know what? Yes, she's beautiful. She's a beauty queen, but she's very smart. Congratulations. She's on the show. And Donald Trump really stood up for me at that moment in time. I think that says a lot for him, for his character. He saw my, my business brain and uh, my, you know, all of my accomplishments. And that right there told me a lot about him as a person. Um, as I competed on the show, he definitely showed his um, affection toward me as a person. And he was very, um, very positive and uh, right. just, you know, I, I really liked how, how he was. And, and I, I understand that. He, and you, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just want to make sure I, I understand that. And you've made your feelings for him clear. And I know you do support him for president. Um, but, but can you tell us that the kiss itself happened at Trump Tower at some point? You know, so this is something that frustrates me about the media and journalism. I mentioned at one point, yes, he kissed me on the lips, but that's what they want to focus on. It was a small kiss. It was after he had fired me on The Apprentice. He called me the next day and said, I still want to give you an opportunity to work for me. I was very impressed with you. So after several meetings and getting to know him more, he walked me to the elevator at one point and he did reach in and give me a little kiss. And I was a little surprised, but I wasn't offended and I could have turned away. And I, I really think that uh, we need to take these incidents into account and make sure that we don't let the media spin anything out of control and put words in our mouth. And that's why I'm excited for the opportunity to speak from my heart and you know, talk about the incident. The, they're calling it the incident and Jennifer Murphy um, speaks out and you know I I gave an hour-long interview with a journalist and all accolades and talking about how Donald Trump empowered me and they asked if he had ever kissed me or attempted to and I said well yes he once he gave me a kiss all of a right. sudden that's in the, the headline so that's something I don't right I don't which, like. which I understand which is why we wanted to put you on so you could tell your story Jennifer and, and have everyone I really that you appreciate feel, that Aaron that you feel Thank differently you. Than, than many others but I do ask you one question because there now are uh, 11 women who have come forward and, and it's simply this do you believe them all I can only speak from my own personal experience so I really I know that I've been falsely accused in my life I'm out in public I'm a YouTube star. I recently was accused of being a racist because I did a funny ninja Asian accent in a funny song and they've pigeonholed me as a racist, one isolated incident. So I know that we really have to be careful and we have to take everything into consideration and we can't jump to conclusions. So I really can't speak to that. I just, I want to warn people, be, be, be cautious with jumping to conclusions. Here is a man that has accomplished so much. He's an incredible leader. Look at his children. He's an incredible father. I think he would really turn our country back around. And now 
all of these things are coming out last minute and trying to distract us from the really important issues at hand. And I think we need to take note of that. All right, well, I appreciate your taking the time. Thank you for coming out front. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Eric. And next, more calls for the creator of The Apprentice to release more tapes of Donald Trump. Will